Hi everybody, welcome to 25 Days of Christmas Crafts, Day 22. So today is going to be a pretty embarrassing tutorial because it was so hard to uh, record and because I had to do everything backwards and yeah, anyways. So today I'm going to show you how to gift wrap a present. So I know it's really late notice and you guys probably have already wrapped your presents. But anyways, so I'll show you what it looks like and this is a present I wrapped for John. And there's glitter literally everywhere because the blue bow has glitter all over it. So I have it on my face, on my hands, on my desk. Probably not a good idea because when I do clay, there's going to be glitter everywhere, as you can see. So this is how it looks. And there's the bow. And I ended up putting a squishy toast on it because what I had originally bought to put on it, I didn't like. But I actually like how the squishy toast turned out on the gift wrap. So anyways, let's go ahead and... Get started. First thing you'll want to do is make sure it's even on this side as well as this side, right? And then what you're going to do is just take a little bit of the wrapping paper, get your one-sided tape, it's just plain old regular tape, and you'll want to tape it down. Okay? Once you've taped it down, push a little bit on the opposite end of where you taped it just so that it's nice and tight all the way around, okay? And then here is the pro part. What you'll do is take your wrapping paper and towards you and you'll start pulling the wrapping paper as tight as you can so there's absolutely no bubbles. And then what you'll do is while you're holding it down, take your finger and crease it on the edge. So if you can see what I'm doing here, and I'll kind of turn around to show you. So basically I just overlapped the paper, and as you can see, I, I probably cut more than I should. Overlap it on the edge, or bring it to the edge, and then crease it. And basically the purpose of creasing it is that you're making a mark so you know where to fold. And as you can see, it's really nice and tight. So once you've made the crease, you will... Sorry, I have to turn this around here. My table is just going funny. So there's the crease. What you'll want to do is take that crease and fold it over and take your one-sided tape and then just fold it tight and tape it down. So then now what you're going to do is, again, make sure it's tight. You're going to take your double-sided tape and I'm going to put a little bit on the edge or the corner and then a little bit here and then if you want you can put some in the middle as well i tend to go overboard with my tape okay so once you've placed all of your double-sided tape on that side again with this side towards you you're basically going to pull the paper up and press lightly So then, as you can see, oops, I just tore that. So now, the seam is basically invisible. So a lot of times you see people overlap it right in the middle or on the side. By doing that, you basically hide the seam right here, okay? So then now what you'll want to do is take your present and put it on its side. And the first thing you'll want to do is tape down the sides as such. So take your one-sided tape. 
Oh, and I didn't mention, if you're wondering how I know how to wrap, I used to gift wrap professionally during high school. That's what I used to do. Um, people used to pay me to gift wrap. I worked for a large retailer. So what you'll do is just fold it over and again, crease it because I like, I like creases on my presents. And then you'll tape it down. Okay, I hope you can see that. And then what you'll do is the same thing on the other side. So as you can see, I basically taped down both the edges there. So now what you'll do is lay it down flat first and you'll wanna lay it down where that crease is. So if you see that crease that we hid, you'll basically lay it right down flat like that. And then what you'll do is take those corners and fold it in and crease. And then make sure you're tucking it in, crease it. And then flip it over so that now you have the crease. What you're gonna do, and gosh, this is so hard to do on video. So then now I've made the creases, as you can see. What you're gonna do is basically pull it down again, crease it, make sure there's absolutely no bubbles. So then once you've creased it, what you'll wanna do is take both sides. And straighten it out okay so this is how it looks as you can see there's absolutely no seams no overlap it's really really clean with the exception of this is kind of cheap paper I just realized so where all the black is it's starting to crumble but if you can see here absolutely no seam so it's kind of hard to find and you're basically going to do it for this side as well See? So you don't have that gap in between or wrapping paper overlap. See how pretty it is? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is the bow. And this is where it goes really over the top here. So now, in order to make the bow, what you'll do is make sure that you have enough for the tail, not too long and not too short. And I basically take the two ears, give it a little bit of room, overlap it, and then tie the bow. So let me pull a little bit out. Pull a little bit out here. And I think that's still not enough. Okay, loop it crisscross, loop it, whatever you want to call it. Pull the bow through and there you have it. There's my bow and there is glitter everywhere. It's probably like the one thing I don't like. And then I'm just going to look at it to make sure that I have enough and I believe I do. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut it on the opposite side. Okay. So we'll fix the bow in a second here, but I just want to get an idea of how the bow looks. So I'm going to fluff it up a little bit. OK, 
okay so I know that's how I want my bow to look or sit at an angle right okay oh my gosh there's glitter everywhere okay so I hate that part right there that ugly little bow part that's been tied so I'll take a little bit excess right there and then what I will do is cover it up as you can your bow sticks to the ribbon. So again, your stapler, I know you'll be using a lot of staplers, and you'll basically want to staple the bow itself to the ribbon. Okay, so that's what I did. that your loop is too large and in this case I think it might be a little too large especially on this side it's not proportion what you can do is kind of a double bow effect and what you do is just take kind of in the middle and then tuck it under or fold it under push it down and then fluff up the front part okay so I'm gonna actually make it longer That's how it looks and now what we want to do is make the bow on the bottom pretty not that it's not pretty right now so what I typically do is I take the double-sided tape and I position the bow and you're gonna take the bow and tuck it under like that and bend it so it looks like that right so that's where I want the end of the bow to be I'll stick the double-sided tape on the box there the bow right on top, push it down, press it down on there so it sticks. There you go. Glitter in this house. Oops, kind of overestimated that there. That's okay. Okay, so that's how it looks after you fix the bow. Isn't that pretty? I like it. I think John's going to like it too. Side tape and tape the squishy toast down because that shouldn't affect it in any way. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. So, anyways, this is how you professionally gift wrap. As you can see, the bow there, and probably fluff this up just a little bit so it looks a little more round. And I put a squishy toast on it. And that's how it looks from the front and then oops I did the ribbon a little too tight there that's how it looks on the side that's how it looks on the top and that's how it looks on the back okay so that's how you kind of gift wrap a present if you have the time and if you really want to create high expectations for the present so I hope you found this tutorial helpful let me know if you guys have any questions thanks bye